What's good YouTube? Whenever you're watching this video, I appreciate you for spending your time right here, right now. Now today's video, I'm going to be explaining why women reject men who have their stuff together. Before we get into the video, I want to say I appreciate all the new supporters, all the supporters have been there from the start. Welcome to the channel if you are new, and let's get straight into this video. I woke up in the morning and I say I need one of those They got me trying and I did close They got me trying and I did close I swear to God I never wear a dress Now first thing first, some of you guys may be wondering what inspired me to make this video Now I was, I recently had a consultation with a young man I'm not going to put his business out there out of respect But I recently had a conversation with a young man and what he said within our consultation it really resonated with me, not only because I've been through it, but I know a lot of men are going through the same thing. Now, what am I talking about? Well, he explained to me that he was de dealing with a woman who was more so on the promiscuous side. She was known to be promiscuous and he was dealing with this woman and she ended up telling him that I'm just not attracted to your personality, not his looks. She was attracted to him in terms of his looks, right? But she wasn't attracted to his personality. And now, as he explained to me, he's more of a laid back guy, relaxed guy. He's got his stuff together. He's actually doing pretty, pretty well for himself from the conversation that we had. So it just made me realize, and I gave him this answer during the consultation. It made me realize she was attracted to you physically. You just didn't come across as a toxic guy. And it's something that a lot of men are dealing with out here that they're not really speaking on. I've got my stuff together. I've got my job. I've got my place. I'm doing what I need to do in life. But somehow I'm still not having luck with the females. Guys, you need to realize what's going on in today's society is crazy. It's absolutely ridiculous. Some of these females will reject you simply because you do have your stuff together. So I don't want you guys out here to be down and be feeling like you're worthless because of some stupid whore. Doesn't really, just because a stupid whore doesn't want to give you her submission. You've got to realize these women nowadays, they're not even something you should be feeling down about. You, they're not, you, how are you going to be feeling down about a girl who was with Chad on Monday and Tyrone on Friday? Don't be feeling down. So guys, I'm going to be explaining in this video the reasons women reject men with their stuff together. Now guys, first thing first, the number one reason, well, not number one in terms of this is the main reason, but first reason that women reject men with their stuff together is because you come across as a good guy. Now, what do I mean by women will reject you because you come across as a good guy? Because to some people that might be gibberish. A woman's gonna reject me because I'm a good guy? Yes, let me explain why. When you have your stuff together, men who are living criminal lifestyles, doing stuff they shouldn't be doing, just all over the place, staying with this girl, staying with this woman, just here and there, just living a crazy lifestyle, maybe in and out of jail, or maybe if they're not even getting arrested, they're just being bad people out here. Men like that typically don't have their stuff together. The men who have their stuff together are usually good men. They've got morals, they, they're disciplined, they're usually submitting their will to a higher power. Even if they're not, they're still treating people with respect, etc. Doing certain things, that working out, etc. Men who have their stuff together are usually living this type of lifestyle. So when a woman sees you as a man living a life where you've got your stuff in order, you're automatically going to come across as a good man. And one thing I've realized about the modern day woman, she does not respect, respond well to good men because good men have a backbone. Good men, is, a good man is not going to let her walk outside looking like a street walker. So women, they reject good men. They run away from good men. And it's hilarious to me because these will be the same women who after they've been done dirty by Chad and Tyrone, have their guts busted and obliterated. These will be the same women to pick up a camera phone open TikTok after just using the app, you know, shortening their attention span. They will open TikTok. Men ain't nothing. What's wrong with these men nowadays? Blah, blah, blah. So it's absolutely hilarious to me how these women, they run away from good men. They get done dirty by the bad men. And then they come on social media spreading an agenda that all men are trash. Does that not sound ridiculous to you? Let me know in the comment section down below if I'm, if I'm just going crazy or that's just ridiculous. That's like me purposely going for a promiscuous woman who's sleeping around, maybe even selling her body, and then saying all women are trash. No, my selection in women is trash, not all women. 
Now guys, the second reason women reject men with their stuff together is because she can't control you. Now let me tell you one thing. Any man who's successful and has his stuff together, he's doing what he needs to do in life, he did not get there listening to no woman. I, I, I'm just going to say how it is. Now don't get me wrong, there is those cases where maybe a guy was in high school with a girl and she helped build with him. There is those cases, but let's be real. What woman is out here building? They're moving in. So that's just an exception. So that don't even really defeat. That don't defeat what I'm saying. That's just an exception. Most men who become successful in life, they, can't, they, they got there on a lonely path, on a lonely road. That's how they got to success. So most guys who were successful did not get there from listening to no woman. So women already know a guy who's built himself up, He's not gonna take my opinion that serious. He's not gonna listen. He's not gonna listen and value my opinion like that compared to a broke guy or a guy who's just a bad person, just not got his stuff together, and he doesn't he doesn't have any plans of doing anything about it. He just wants to be broke and just chill. A woman like a guy like that, she knows her opinion is gonna be a lot more valid in that situation. But when she's dealing with a guy who's got his stuff together, she knows her opinion. It has to be actually it has to actually have value. Women nowadays, they want their opinions to be heard, but their opinions don't have value a lot of the time, but they still want them to be heard. That's ridiculous. That's like me going in a room with a bunch of CEOs and wanting them to value my opinion, but I'm not saying anything within my opinion that's valuable. <laughs> but that's ridiculous. It's funny to me. Women just want to be heard just to be heard. It's like when they come up to you with a problem, not wanting a solution, just want to be heard, right? So guys, you've got to realize when a woman rejects you and you have your stuff together, it's because she believes she can't control you and her opinion is not going to be valid when dealing with you. Especially if, she, especially if it's not a valuable opinion, it's just an opinion. And another, another thing, guys, men in general who've built themselves up to a certain point in life, who've become successful, you've got to realize men, people who, who are successful, they're very disagreeable. That's how they got there a lot of the times. Because if you are a very agreeable person, you'll be taken off that path of success. There'll be someone telling you to do this with your business or someone telling you to do this. Oh, actually, I think you should do this with your business. No, men who are successful, they're disagreeable. Now, obviously you wanna be listening to stuff that's actually gonna help you, but men in general who are successful, they're not just listening to anybody telling them what to do. They're, they're not, they're not, they're very stubborn and they, they believe what they believe. So you, unless it's like actually gonna help their business. So that off the bat is gonna make a woman reject you because she knows what you've, how you've got to where you've got to in life has come from standing on principle, not just listening to any and everybody in terms of their opinions, their advice and what they've got to tell you. So guys, that's another reason right there. Women will reject you when you have your stuff together. Now guys, my final point when it comes to why women reject men who have their stuff together is because you having your stuff together is going to bring out her insecurities. Now, there's two different ways I'm going to break this down. So guys, the first way I'm gonna break this down is she thinks you're cheating. She simply thinks you're cheating. A lot of the times when you have your stuff together as a man and you're, you're really doing your thing out here, a woman, most of these women nowadays are becoming masculine. They're becoming masculine. They want a man that they can damn near come home to. <laughs> they, they want a man they can damn near come home to, tell them what to do. Have you finished cooking? Ha, have you got the cleaning done? What did you do? What did you do today? <laughs> That's how most of these women are becoming. They're becoming very masculine. So a lot of times, a woman, a woman wants to control all aspects of your life. Most of these women nowadays, they want to control all aspects of your life. Whereas women in the past, they let the man be the man and do what he was doing. Even if he went out at eleven, uh, he went out at eleven at night. It is what it is. It simply is what it is. If he went out at 11 p.m., it is what it is. He's the man who's doing whatever he's doing. But nowadays, these women want to control every aspect of your life as a man. So when she sees you have your stuff together, she knows she can't control every aspect of your life, especially when it comes to you potentially cheating. She can't control that. She knows that, that that's a possibility. So a lot of these women nowadays, they don't want that to be something that you can do. They want to control you. They want, they, they, and they also would think you're cheating and you cannot even be cheating. You cannot even be cheating. But her insecurities being with a man who has his stuff together, it's gonna make her think, oh, he's cheating. It's, it's gonna bring out her insecurities. Whereas if she was dealing with a man who didn't have his stuff together, which is why they go for the pookies and the ray rays, 
they don't really have to worry too much about him getting other girls and do. Yeah, he might get a little something on the side, but they know it's not gonna be the type of stuff you're gonna get. They know if he gets a little something, a, a little extra something on the side, it's not gonna be as good as her probably. But you, you, you're gonna have the top select. You're gonna have top selection because of you having your stuff together. And my next point as well, guys. A woman being with a man who has his stuff together, it will bring out her inadequacies if she's not where she needs to be in life. So you've got to realize, once again, the reason they go to the Pookies and Ray Rays a lot of times, and for those who don't know what Pookie and Ray Ray is, it's basically just a, a guy who's not really doing what he's meant to be doing in life. He's, he's living a BS life, basically. He's bullshitting. Reason they go to these type of men, because these men will not bring out the inadequacies. These type of men do not show the show women I'm not where I want to be in life. But when she's with a boss, a guy doing what he needs to do out here in life, it's going to show her like, damn, I'm supposed to be doing this. I'm supposed to be doing that. I can start me there. I can start, I can start this. I can start that. She don't, she don't want to be around that. Most human beings don't want to be around people like that. That's why most human beings, you see people who ain't doing shit in life. They're around other people who ain't doing shit in life. Because if we start going around people who are doing shit in life, I have to look at myself in that mirror and it's going to be a tough conversation. So guys, that right there, just to break it down, I, I, I really wanted to give you guys these pointers because especially after of that last consultation, it's like, I just really don't want you guys feeling down because of these worthless thoughts rejecting you. You've got to realize these women are crazy. These women are crazy. It's, the, it's crazy out here. It's just simply crazy out here. So guys, don't be feeling down. Move forward in life and lift your head up. Stop, stop being a beta. That's what beta's do. Oh, she rejected me. She re move forward. Now, guys, I appreciate every single one of you for joining me here today on this video. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And take care of yourself.